Hello, this is Christian. I'm here with some supplemental help for Intro to Digital Media. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to create a simple Facebook app with some web pages. Um, so to do this, you'll need to have a web server like our Amazon AWS server for the class. You'll need to have some web pages that you want to make into a Facebook app since a Facebook app is only just a bunch of web pages. Uh, and then you're going to need a Facebook account. It should take you about 20 minutes. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that we're going to do this in a way that's free. Um, we're going to do it in something called sandbox mode, which is going to work, but it's only going to allow um, you and some people you designate to see your application. So your application will work just fine, but it will only be visible to you and some people that you designate. So it's great for class demos, but everyone on Facebook can't use your app. To do that, you probably need to get some paid hosting. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to log into Facebook. After we've done that, the next thing is that we want to go to a website called um, developers.facebook.com. Uh, this site actually has all kinds of useful documentation. What we're going to be doing today is building apps on Facebook. That's the right click button here. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go through the steps that are in this tutorial. Um, so if you get lost, you can always go here and go through the steps in the tutorial. Um, Facebook refers to the pages where Facebook apps live as a canvas. I guess they're thinking a blank artist's canvas. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through the Canvas tutorial, which is linked on the left here. And that's how you get started with your first app on Facebook. Um, following right along the tutorial, the first thing we need to do is to visit an app in Facebook called the Developer App. Um, now, I have a different display than you'll have. Uh, if you click on that link to go to the Developer App, uh, or you type in this URL here, um, developers.facebook.com slash apps, it should ask you if you want to add the developer app. And you should say that, yes, you want to add the developer app. This indicates to Facebook that you are a developer and you're someone who is going to be developing Facebook apps. Um, the next thing that you want to do after that is simply uh, press the uh, Create a New App button in the developer app. Um, so let's go back to the developer app and hit Create New App. You'll have to name it. I'm going to call mine um, whatever test app. Uh, I don't need to worry really about anything else here. And then I'll hit uh, continue. To prove that I'm actually a human, Next, I'm going to see a message like this, probably, unless you've already done this. It will ask me to verify that I'm a real person um, with either my mobile phone or my credit card. I'm going to choose my mobile phone. Um, I have to then give Facebook my phone number, which I'm not going to do uh, where you can see it. Uh, Facebook then sent a text message, which goes to my phone, and uh, I should receive the message in my phone, and then be able to um, type it into Facebook. Uh, my confirmation is B95CER. Yours will be different. All right. Great work. I guess I have to prove that I'm still human. A C or a G? Let's say it's a C. All right, we have just created a new app on Facebook, but it doesn't have any content yet. Um, to go on, we're going to need to set up some settings. Before we go on, we need to make one change to our account settings so that we can see our own app. Since we're not paying for hosting this app, 
it's not going to be hosted securely, and that means it will only be available to the people we indicate. Um, it also means I need to change an account setting to be sure I can see the app. So you need to go up here to the navigation bar at the top and um, edit your own account settings. Um, not there, there, all right, sorry. Once you get into your account settings, you want to hit security uh, on the left navigation bar, and then under secure browsing, you need to turn secure browsing off. This will lead to reminder messages that uh, ask you to turn secure browsing on in other parts of Facebook, but you want to ignore those. So as long as you have secure browsing turned off, you'll be able to see your own Facebook app. We can go back to our um, Facebook developer page here. All right. Anyone who you want to be able to see your app needs to make that change in their settings. So currently, since you created the app, you will be allowed to see it. And since you changed your setting to have secure browsing off, you will be allowed to see it. But anyone else you want to be able to see this app is going to need to make that settings change. So a Facebook app really just consists of a series of web pages. So I'm going to not fill in these settings right now. What I'm going to do is close the web browser and open up WinSCP. I'm going to log in to my Amazon AWS server using WinSCP. It's uh, loading right now. Okay, so I should have my ver www HTML directory open on the right there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new directory on the right I do that by scrolling to the bottom and then right-clicking on some white space and hitting New Directory. Uh, I'm going to call the directory um, whatever test, although you should probably have a better name than that. Um, so you see I now have this empty directory whatever test uh, on my web server. Um, that's going to hold the files that will be my Facebook app. Um, to get me started, I'm just going to copy in there some example files from assignment six. Um, so I have an assignment six version that uh, looks up something in Wikipedia. So I'm going to copy that to whatever test. Uh, it, that consisted of three web pages. So I'm going to copy all three of them to whatever test. So I'll just uh, shift click to select more than one thing, drag it up here to whatever test, and drop it in. Now that new directory, whatever test, should have three files in it. Um, I'm going to rename the first file in there, index.html, because that's the name that the web server recognizes as the default file for any directory. So if you don't specify a file name when you're typing in a URL for a directory, the web server will always look for index.html. So we'll just test to be sure that worked by um, closing WinSCP, going back over to the web browser. I'm going to open a new web browser. I'm going to go to my website. Uh, I'm going to put in the directory name that I just created, which is whatever test. And there I have my file, which is a personality quiz about programmer Ryan Gosling. So I have successfully put this on the web server, and it should actually work. Um, champagne. Yeah. Looks great. OK, so um, whatever it is your application will do might differ. So this is just an example. Um, your application may consist of a different number of PHP files or HTML files, but you definitely want to rename the starting one to be index.html uh, to get you going. So now this URL that I've made here, which is my web server with this um, with this file name, the, uh, with this directory name that I just made it, I'm going to take that URL and I'm going to go back to the Facebook settings page that I left over here. I want to host my app on Facebook. And the canvas, in other words, the white space where my app will go, 
um, it's going to it's going to put in that canvas the web pages at the address I specify. So I'm going to put my canvas URL as the URL that I just made on my web server. I'm going to call it whatever test. If you want to, you can also um, let's see. I want to save changes. If you want to, you can also do things like um, add a picture for your app by, by clicking this. I'm not going to do that right now. It warns me that I need to have a secure URL and I don't, but um, that's going to be okay because I'm going to operate in sandbox mode and I've turned off secure browsing already, so I don't have to worry about that. Two things it's worth noting on this page is that there's this thing called an app ID, which is um, a number that uniquely identifies my app. And then there's this thing called an app secret, which is a string of letters and numbers that if I want to use PHP to talk to Facebook, I have to pass that secret to Facebook to prove that I'm really the app developer and not just some random hacker sending requests to Facebook. Um, now I want to click over here on advanced settings uh, in the left bar. Um, what I want to do here is just turn on sandbox mode. That means that developers will be able to look at my app, but other people won't. So that's good for demos, as I said earlier. Um, you don't have to make any other changes, but I'm going to change the canvas to fluid because I like the way that, that looks, uh, but that's really okay. Don't have to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to save my changes.